Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm pretty excited. I received this Monstero deck. This is the second edition. I received it about a week or so ago and I haven't had a chance to really uh, sit down and show it to you. Super cute deck though. I have uh, Joanna Nelson's Whispering Spirits Tarot and it is very similar to this deck. I, I kind of was looking at both of them and I really can't decide which one I like better but I think this might possibly edge the Whispering Spirits out slightly. So here we've got the really nice box with the flip closure, magnetic. A few pictures on the back. The colors in this are lovely. Here is the little book that comes with the deck. So this is by Joanna Nelson and the guidebook is by Trish Sullivan. So let's see here. Kind of discover this booklet together. As I said, I've been busy with my family this week and I haven't had a chance to really look at this. So here's an introduction. Information on a single card draw, three card draw, illuminate your mind. So some spreads. There is an extra card in this deck called the Luminary. Revealing the unseen, hope and guiding light. So we have a little information on each card. We don't have any pictures in here, no grayscale, no thumbnails. So just a little bit of information of the artist interpretation and the card meaning. So there you have it, the book. Oh, and I I did pick up this deck on the uh, Kickstarter, I believe it was, and over the course of several months we had uh, time to vote and pick out bonuses that she was going to send us, so the bonuses came with the deck. Some postcard size, really cute little artwork. Look at that. Cats reading tarot, the lovers, the chariot. So these are really cute cards to accompany the deck. Pretty sweet to put on your altar. I believe that is the representation of the sun card. Breathe in courage, breathe out love. That's kind of my theme for work these days. I have a little uh, smaller card that she sent me of this when I ordered the Whispering Spirits deck and I have it on my desk at work as a kind of a reminder to stop and take a breath and not let things get to me. Okay, so at the bottom of the box we've got these little sort of dragonfly things, very cute. Oh, and we also receive bookmarks along with this deck. I don't know if these are still being offered. If you go to her website to order the uh, deck at this point, I don't know. Those might have just been a Kickstarter bonus. Here's the back of the card back. Cute little monsters. It's reversible. The cardstock is thick, um, not real flexible. The deck itself is thick and not very pliable. And I know it's kind of popular these days to have this kind of thick cardboardy cardstock. Personally, it's not my favorite, but it's not too bad. I can work with it. I like to have something I can riffle shuffle and I definitely could not, well for one thing it's too big. This, this deck is a little too big for me to grab in my hands and kind of try to shuffle that way. I can do it but it wouldn't be comfortable. So there are the cards and the card stock. Then we'll take a quick flip through of the deck. Let me see. Looks like it's here is the Luminary, very sweet. The Fool, 
Love the mouse. So cute. The magician. High Priestess, the Empress. Let's see if I can set those down and move in a little bit closer for you. I've got such a shadowing there from my light source. Let's see. Okay, here we have the Empress. So cute the little paper hat there on the river, the ladybugs, adorable. The emperor, kind of as I envision the emperor as a father figure. We've got the little, little tykes there. Here is the hierophant. Oh, the lovers, look how sweet that is. Very precious. I love this chariot. Something about these little guys reminds me of the uh, coronavirus cartoons that we see these days in this pandemic time. Justice, a little kitty there with her scale and her sword. All the elements are here. The Rider Waite Smith symbols for the tarot cards, so it's very easy to read. The Hermit. Love that he's got a uh, little um, lightning bug there as his lamp lighting, and he's got a little candle on his head. Very cute. The Wheel of Fortune. There's Strength. Breathe in strength, breathe out love. Or breathe in courage, I believe it is on the postcard that I received. The Hanged Monster. Death. Temperance. I love that fish. So cute. And the Devil. Tower. So this has some elements of, uh, it's not really dark, it's kind of cutesy dark, if you know what I mean. I don't know. Here's the star. The moon. The sun. Very sweet. Judgment. As you can see, she's got her signature in these cards. The artist's signature. The world. Ace of Pentacles. I like that they're borderless. That's a really cute Ace of Pentacles. I like the little daisy type flowers. Even the dragonfly there has a little daisy. Two of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. I mean, the meaning is just there, and the cards are so simple. It's so easy to read with these cards. Four of Pentacles. If you've learned right or wait, five of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. There's seven. So for a Rider weight clone, this is really cute, really enjoyable. I love this one because look how prominent the bird is. If you've watched my other videos, you know how much I love the bird in the Nine of Pentacles. I have to have that bird in the card or I don't enjoy the card. <laughs> Here's the Ten of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. Oh, I love that he's got that little sort of elephant-looking animal. Very cute. The Queen of Pentacles. She's got her rabbit. 
King of Pentacles. Moving on to the Suit of Swords. Ace. Two. Three of Swords. Four of Swords. That's the image we have on the front of the box. The little Zen meditating little monster there. Five of Swords. Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords. Look at the expression on the face there. Nine of Swords. Ten of Swords. Page. The cards are borderless and with their large size it really is, it gives it such a nice close-up feel. You don't have to strain to see the images. I love that hummingbird. Look at that. Isn't that adorable for the Knight of Swords to ride on? Queen of Swords. And the King of Swords with the bat there behind him. Ace of Wands. Love the little castle. Two of Wands. Looks very Rider weight. Three of Wands. There is the four. Look how precious. Guys, I guess you could say this is a girly deck because all the girls love it. Here is the Five of Wands, Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, And the Ten of Wands. Page. Knight. Queen of Wands. She's got her sunflower and her black cat. King of Wands. Kind of like those salamanders. I guess those are kind of supposed to be salamanders there. Salamanders are associated with wands in my mind. Cups, Ace of Cups. Two of Cups. There is the Three of Cups. Four of Cups, the Five of Cups, Six of Cups, Seven, I love that wormy looking caterpillar, whatever it is there. Super cute. Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. Even his posture is very similar to the Rider Waite guy in the Nine of Cups. Very cute how that was done. And the Ten of Cups.
page. Got the fish there, fish in the cup. Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups. Oops, I got this one upside down. And the King of Cups. So that's my quick walkthrough. Hope you enjoyed the tour. I love these cards. They're really super cute. Uh, as far as using them, I don't know if I'll use them a lot. I have to have a card deck that is a little on the smaller side and a little more easy for me to shuffle. So I don't know. I do love this deck. It's very pretty. It'd be nice if she would come out with a pocket size edition with a little bit of uh, more flexible thin card stock. Okay, take care. We'll talk to you again next time. Bye.